transitioning from the lazy days of summer to the hustle of a school year can be a struggle for all of us. Getting used to a schedule again, learning to work with uh, expectations and deadlines over our heads, as well as finding a new groove for myself. All of it can be rough. I love lazy days of summer and I love the hustle of a school year, but the transition between the two can be a tough one. Today I'm going to share five tips for you on how to hopefully make the transition easier for you and your kids. This video idea came from one of my subscribers, Karen, when I asked over on my Facebook page for ideas for back to school. If you are not already on Facebook with me, I'd love to have you over on my page. Link for my page will be down below. Tip number one is to start transitioning your kids to your school year schedule but without the schooling. So for example, um, in the mornings we do screen times during the school year and during the summer. During the summer I let them go a little bit later. So about a month before school starts I start bringing that back to their morning cutoff time. For the school year and then continue our morning routine as usual and that goes for me as well <laughs> i have um, already begun trying to firm up my morning routine again uh, you know just one cup of coffee instead of a lazy two cups and starting the laundry in the morning all of that type of thing my kids are early risers and that doesn't change during the summer so um I don't have to change morning wake up time, but if your kids are sleeping in a little bit later, depending on how long you have until the school year starts and how late they're sleeping, you might want to go ahead and start transitioning 10, 15 minutes earlier a week until you have time or until you're at the time that they need during the school year. So once we start school, those they'll already be back into those times and then I can just fill in our school day around those. Tip number two is to have them help you get the school room ready. Putting the new books in your bookcases or on the desks wherever they go, sharpening pencils, straightening up. I like to try and do a new poster or two every year so they can help hanging that. Whatever it is you do to get ready for your school year, invite them in with you. Put on an audiobook or some fun music and make it a group activity get, it will help get you all excited with the benefit of getting your room ready for you number three ease into your new school year i like to start midweek that way if it's a rough transition i only have a couple days that i have to get through it before the weekend and by the weekend all oh, i felt a sense of accomplishment come monday morning i'll think i've already got several days into it I'm ready to move on and get a full week done. I also like to start with half days. I choose for each of my kids a core subject and a favorite subject. We might do that for a couple days or even a full week. Then the next week, you know, add another core subject or two plus another favorite favorite subject or two. Pardon the cat. By starting with half days, you get a couple benefits. One, again, you're building confidence that <laughs> your days are going well because you or only dealing with a few things. Two, you're going to be able to extend summer a little bit because you're only having to do it in the half days. So come afternoon, you can still hit the pool or the park, whatever it is you like to do. While we're doing this, I will do one or two afternoons a week, but for the most part, we just do half days. So not only does this help with kind of easing into the routine of it and the schedule of it, but it also kind of helps with the with the excitement and the attitude of it because you're only doing a little bit you know if your child really loves math but hates writing if you pair those together at least your child knows I can just get through the writing and then I get to do math and then I'm better for the day what if it works for your family but easing into it really has really been a I found great benefit for our family doing that tip number four is to prepare yourself for finding your new school year school year groove if your kids are going to be in sports come the fall, buy, your, buy whatever gear they're going to need. If you have fall birthdays, start buying gifts for that. 
Make sure your calendar is well stocked with all the dates that you can think of. Um, homeschool activities, sports, whatever it is, get it down now. Stock up on your paper products and your toiletries. Fill your freezer with foods and snacks. Make a list. This was a tip that I did last year and was immensely helpful. On my refrigerator, I put up a list of five easy, quick dinners for nights that we're at home and five easy, quick, on-the-go dinners. I also have a blog post about on-the-go dinners. I will link it. But put those up on your refrigerator. That way, when you are meal planning or meal prepping, you have something that you can just look at and pull you know, one or two each week from. For the nights that you've forgotten about dinner and your school day has gone long, you also have things up there ready to go, you know, ideas ready. Buy the prepackaged snacks, whether it's the cracker type things or your prepackaged washed cut up produce. This is not the time of year to worry about all those great things that you see on Pinterest and on Facebook. You will have time later in the school year to do those Pinterest worthy lunch ideas and snack ideas, right? Beginning of the school year, my whole goal is to keep things as simple as I can. The more things you have settled, the more, the less stress I feel. And I don't know about you, but my kids pick up on my stress. So part of finding my whole new groove <laughs> is getting as much done before the school year starts as I can. And my last tip for you is to build some fun into the beginning of your school year. Find an easy tradition. Do not go to Pinterest because you're not going to find <laughs> this there. Those are, those are not what I mean. Donuts for breakfast on the first day of school or for a mid-morning snack. Milkshakes after school. A spe specific dinner idea for you. Find something that is easy, doesn't require a lot of prep work, or any, preferably, and is something that you can do year after year. This year you may have all the time in the world to do some big, grand Pinterest tradition, but what about next year? So that, um, find, find an easy tradition um, and something that you can do. Our science this year has us doing ice cream in a bag. I will link the idea below for the first day of school and the last day of school. So if we like it, that may become our school year tradition. Another idea would be to plan a field trip or some kind of activity a couple of weeks, three, four weeks into your school year. Maybe a last hurrah at the pool while once the public school kids go back to school or um, some, if you live in a tourist town, maybe by the time the tourists are gone, maybe there's some place you want to go. That sort of thing. Think about what, something that you could do <laughs> as a countdown <laughs> so that you know and your kids know three weeks into it, that Friday we get to go do something or other. Gives you something to look forward to and something concrete and soon. This year we are going to um, Disney World and to see, meet up with friends about a month into our school year. So that'll be a really, this will be great <laughs> countdowns for us. Another idea is to pick a fun read aloud. Not necessarily something that goes with your history or some other part of your curriculum. Just something that's fun, that will be engaging for all your kids. And do it of an afternoon. Afternoon transitioning back to school after lunch is a struggle for us, especially at the beginning of the year. So having something that requires no prep work for you, doesn't require the kids to think, they can zone out, color or close their eyes, whatever it is they want to do while you're reading, still building the habit of schooling after lunch, but without prep work and when your brains are tired those early weeks, this is something that's great for you. So those are my five tips for gentle ways to transition to your school year. If you have tips, I'd love for you to leave it below so I can learn from you and so you can learn from each other. Also, if you have any ideas for back to school themed videos, I'd love for you to leave them below. I'm still building my list of what I'm going to, of ideas for the, for the school year. Or if you just have video ideas for the general school year, 
I'd love for you to leave them below. Always looking for ideas from my viewers because I want to make sure that what I'm putting out are things that you want to see. So leave me some comments below. If you aren't already over on Facebook, the link for that will be below. And I hope that your new school year starts off well. Thanks for watching.